The third Sunday of Advent. Christ's presence in our midst in the wonder of the Holy Supper is cause for singing. The nearness of God in prayer in every circumstance is a cause for rejoicing. The coming of the one more powerful than John, even with a winnowing fork in hand, is good news and cause for exaltation. For us who are being saved, great joy is the tone for the third Sunday of Advent. A reading from Zephaniah. Sing aloud, O daughter Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exalt you with loud singing on the day of the festival. I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. I will deal with your oppressors at that time. I will save the lame and gather the outcast. I will change their shame into praise and renown all the earth. At that time, I will bring you home. At that time, I will gather you, for I will make you renowned and praised among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. Our psalm today comes from Isaiah. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And you will say in that day, give thanks to the Lord, call on God's name, make known the deeds of the Lord among the nations, proclaim that this name is exalted, sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously, and let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. A reading from Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. A reading from Luke. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestors. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every treat, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, what then should we do? In reply, he said to them, Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even the tax collectors came to be baptized, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. And soldiers asked him, and what should we do? He said to them, Do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusations, and be satisfied with your wages. And the people were filled with expectation, and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah. John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear the threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So with many other exhortations, he proclaimed the good news to the people. <laughs> 